What's going on? You locked in with the Innovators YouTube. You already know I got the best interviews right here, man. I got the stink team in the building, man. I got Young Bull in the studio. What's popping? What's the deal? Ganging them. How you doing? Man, you know, we chilling, chilling. Trying to make a million. Straight up. Yeah, I'm <laughs> uh, real. First, I want to say it's a pleasure and a blessing to have you here. I appreciate you coming through today. Um, just to start off, let the people know where they can find you on social media. Um, my Instagram. You can find me on Instagram, Hood Trophy 32 um youtube i'm going up on youtube you can find i'm um, stream my sh youtube young bull uh i just dropped a tape boys uh, you can go find me on there um uh, twitter hood trophy 032 and yeah that's pretty where i'm at on all platforms so far the name young bull how did, how did that come about uh shit shit just being around the homie just being around um just just being the youngest nigga out the, out of all the homies, I'm a tourist too, so okay. I kind of oh, like I kind of I kind of <laughs> added that in there too, so yeah. Yeah, nah, I like that. And then how did your Instagram name come about? Cause I always thought it was dope. Uh, shit, man, you know, just being a trophy in LA, like you know, hood trophy, trying to make it out the hood, but really just I don't know, that shit just came about when a nigga came home, so a nigga just stuck with it and ran with it. But I really go by Young Boy though, but that's just yeah. That's just, you know, the Instagram. Do you do you, do you ever think that people like get it confused with the Instagram being nah, different? <laughs> nah, they, they 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 all the fans they know me by Young Boy, so yeah. so they don't really come to me as trophy or hood trophy. They they know me as Young Boy, so yeah. Where exactly are you from in LA? Um, I grew up on um like all around LA, but majority of the west side uh, I didn't been on the east, but like all of I'm all over LA to be honest. Yeah. So every section. What was it like growing up in LA for you? Shit. Oh man, LA that shit. You know, it got its ups and downs, but you know, nigga, nigga was thugging, nigga been thugging since a young nigga. So that shit was cool. Do, are you like do you do you gang bang it? Or are you a part of any like are you? Have any affiliation? Yeah, nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. nah, nigga don't bang, but they know what it is, though. Yeah, they know what it is. How did you get uh, connected with the Stink Team? Like, how did that come about? Mm, shit, uh, I was fucking with Ralphie, and then he had brought me over there one day, and nigga just been locked in ever since. So nigga just been locked in. Yeah. Nah, that me and gangin' them. That's what. That's what's up. Um, I mean, I've been seeing y'all been y'all been rocking for a while and shit, so that that's dope uh, to see niggas been locked in. Yeah. So, so what? When did you start getting into rapping? Because it was was that something you always did, or you saw yourself doing it? Or? Nah, I I ain't never really seen myself as a rapper. Like I I, I like I fuck with the fashion more, but I seen the homies they started rapping like in 2016. They started going crazy with that shit. So a nigga just fell in the booth one time, took off with that shit. Ever since then, nigga ain't looked back. Yeah, nah, I can rock with. Uh, as far as the fashion, how'd you get into that? Man, this nigga always been dope as a young <laughs> nigga. So always wanted the finest things in life, so yeah, nigga always been dope. But you design that fashion like your shit regular. Shit? Nah, all the homies do though. I'm, I'm gonna have a com uh, clothing brand coming out soon. Dropping song. With me about that or name man, man. I don't want niggas to steal your yeah, shit. Yeah, you know. I'm going to just pop up on their ass with it, man. Yeah. No cap. Nah, I ain't going to lie, though. Like, out here in LA, for sure, you got to have some swag. Like, yeah, yeah. you'll you stand out like a sore thumb if you don't know how to dress. You no feel cap. me? All the homies going crazy. See, this the homie shit right here. This rough nah, shit. I always thought that hoodie was raw, for yeah, sure. This the homie shit. Long live the homie. Can you tell me um, what hat is safe to wear in LA? Yo, and niggas know what has to wear and, <laughs> and where not to wear them at. I ain't this. <laughs> niggas know what it is in LA. Like certain hats, the hat I got on right now is dope as a bitch. Ain't yeah. nobody gonna say nothing to me about having this hat on. LA hat. It's a LA hat, but you know, niggas don't really even be like politicking on hats like that nowadays. It's, niggas know what it is. Yeah, <laughs> nah, I get you. <laughs> um, how, like, how did you grow up? Um, was your parents around? Like, what was that like? Uh, yeah, both my parents, they was around. My mom, my dad, they they was both around. They always been in my life. They ain't never really, like, left a nigga for dead or nothing. They always been right there. Always support a nigga. Yeah. Did they, so how did they feel when you started making music? Is that something they see? Do uh, they support it? Yeah, they support me 100%. They want to see me blow. They want to see me do big things in life. 
man, I, they got to get mines out the hood. Yeah, so that's right that's def, that's definitely what I'm gonna do. So yeah, nah, I I can uh, rock with that for sure. Yep. Can you talk about like um what what was like your term like in jail and like getting out like what, what was that all that like? Uh, like what you mean? What was it like? Like what, what was your experience when you got locked up? Man, that's it. Man, it regular thugging, pretty much, just thugging. Nigga, nigga was down with the homies. We was all thugging together. Yeah. Kept it solid. Came home, fucking niggas over. Just I mean, shit. What can a nigga say? Shit. You see where I'm at? Yeah. Nigga, nigga, home now. <laughs> nigga, nigga, thugging. Always been thugging. What was it like? Uh, you know, like some people when they get when they get locked up, they be having to like. Catch a lot of phases <laughs> and shit. Was was that what was it like as far as that for you? And nigga caught a few phase in there. Yeah. Caught a few phase. Nigga ain't turning down nothing. Yeah. Caught a few phase. That shit regular. And then when you when you got out, how was you feeling? Shit. <laughs> I mean it's regular shit. I mean, what you mean? How was I feeling? He was I mean, like, I know you was probably like, nigga, I ain't trying to go back and shit. Uh, yeah, nigga, nigga, not trying to go back, but shit. I ain't ducking no smoke, nigga. It is what it is. If a nigga do end up going back, shit, it is what it is. I feel you. I know what it is. Yeah, I feel you. Um, so the the new project, Bullseye, um, let's talk about the name. Why did you decide to name it that? Shit, man, they need to see everything from my eye, my point my point of view. Shit, I'm really trying to just paint a picture. If you really just listen to all my songs, and it's like you really got to listen to what I'm saying. Like, it's real shit going on. But yeah, see shit through my eyes, bull's eye, you know, I'm spot on with this shit. Yeah, uh, seventeen songs. I was, I was like, that's a good amount of songs. You feel me? A lot of times, it's only like eight or seven or ten. Why did you choose to do seventeen? Uh, I chose to do seventeen because I gave him ten my uh, on my first tape on O three two versus Universe. Yeah. Um, it was, it was, it was pretty short. It was twenty five minutes. You know, that was like my fresh out tape. Nigga was just trying to get back to it, but um, 17, I had to give him, like, I had to, you know, let him hear what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, so I felt like 17 was a good number. All the tracks, they, they dope, so I just I just put them on there. Nah, I, I, I like it that, like, most of your, or pretty much all your features is from the stink team and shit, like, yeah. you kept it in the camp and shit. Yep. Um, why did you decide to keep it in the camp and had nobody outside the camp? Shit, um, it really just... I don't, niggas, I don't be fucking with niggas. Like, I mean, nigga, I fuck with niggas, but it's like, why not keep it in the camp? Why not, like, you know, help help my niggas, put, get, like, get put on? Why, why, why my, like, you know, yeah. vice versa, like, so it's just, I don't know, it's just more, like, more natural. It felt like more natural just doing songs with the homies instead of, like, having, like, outside features on my shit. Like, I got Rio on my shit. He cool. Like, I fuck with Rio. He on my shit. That's probably, like, the only nigga that's not from oh, the yeah, Stink yeah, team that's yeah, that's yeah. on my tape. But other than that, um, yeah, nigga just kept it in the camp. As far as, like, the, the, the process for putting the project together, what was that like? Like, you made, like, uh, that shit, songs? Or that shit be hell when you don't have a um laptop, man. I need to give me a laptop. You got a laptop? I be slacking. <laughs> I, I need to give me a laptop. Because that shit be hell trying to, like, get all that shit mixed and mastered when you don't got, like, all the files and all that shit. But but other than that, that shit, that shit be smooth. Like, I got I got people, like, helping me in all aspects with the cover art. Yeah. Like, I got my nigga Dre. He helped me upload that bitch. So, that shit be straight. Like, other than that, other than the mixing and mastering part, that shit be regular. Yeah. Nah. Do you have a favorite song on the project? Um, my favorite song on the project, I I really like Coding Problems and um, Gunpowder. That's that them, them them two really my favorite on there. I like Coding Problems too. Uh, yeah. do, do you feel like you got a Coding problem or? And shit, nigga was pulled as a bitch last <laughs> night. Me and my nigga, we was pulled off a of foe last night. No cap, no cap. Nah, I don't got no problem though. Niggas, niggas just be sipping every every so often. But yeah. when a nigga do sip, a nigga sipping, no cap. Yeah. Like uh, I gotta ask you this because I guess it, it's like a current event. I guess recently, I, I think it was that this week or last week, but I guess it was like a Twitter back and forth between Ralphie and now Adam and No Jumper and all that. <laughs> Is there anything you want to say about that or? Uh, man, they they know what they doing. <laughs> 
They, we like the rap game, evil villains. They, they, they know what's going on. They want to label us as that. There's the rap game, evil villains, man. Got everybody else from LA on their podcast, but like, come on now, y'all, y'all know who doing numbers in the city. Like, come on, let's be real. Yeah. <laughs> do you? Why do you feel um, people? I guess like they always got something to say about this thing team. You feel me? Usually, that people, a lot of people will go to the internet to say something about this thing team. You saying why do I think like why people always got something to say like yeah. like in a bad way or a good way? I mean, really, I, I guess people. I, the, it's a bad. It's a bad shit. Usually, people they they want to say that, like, that's usually what you be it. hearing when when like people be talking about the stink team. As far as like outside people that aren't really affiliated, yeah. you know, they're, yeah, they're yeah. trying to come out and be like, oh, this or that, but like. Like I, I've said on multiple occasions, every nigga I met for the stick team a solid nigga, so I don't really, you feel it's, me, understand why it's like. I don't, I don't know if they get that image from like I don't know the homie a natural he was he was a natural shit talker so it was like I I don't know if they didn't like like what he was like rapping about or what we rap about but it's it's nothing really to hate on us about like we 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 real niggas at the end of the day like. We we put niggas on. Yeah. We we like we we fucking over this music shit. Yeah. Niggas can like I don't see why niggas hate like <laughs> niggas niggas ain't got no reason to hate. <laughs> niggas is crazy. I, I honestly I, as I, when I really look into it, the the thing about y'all that I feel like a lot of people might be envious of for sure is that everything is completely independent. Y'all don't really have to answer to nobody. Right. So y'all can kind of move how y'all want to move in the right. industry, you feel me? Okay. No y'all don't have to like, you know, some niggas, a lot of rappers have to follow a certain lane, you feel me, that they that they they're supposed to stay in, but with y'all it's like pretty much do whatever the fuck you want to do. Hell yeah. You feel me? At your own move at your own pace. Ain't nobody like it's all organic. Like it's all organic. Niggas it's just regular. It's regular with us. How do you feel about the LA music scene? Man, this shit weak now. They they didn't. It's it's weak now. Like, come on now, niggas know who had, who at the city. It's it's watered down, but we gonna keep this shit lit though. Yeah, we gonna keep this shit lit though. No cap, we got Ralphie going crazy, OTM going crazy, yeah. good finesse, narrow wide sell. Niggas niggas going crazy in the city, like and all. Everywhere, this shit, this shit not gonna stop. So, yeah. Is there anything you want to say about uh, Draco the situation? Anything that you want to address? Uh, no comment. No gotcha. comment. No comment. Got you. Um, what is it that you that you like most about making music? Mm. What is it? I like I like the fact that 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 people really like actually listen to my shit because when i like make music and like in certain songs i don't like motherfuckers will really like really like that song it it just be crazy to me like damn like i don't like that song like but niggas like niggas will fuck with that shit and that shit yeah. i don't know it's just that shit that shit it's, it's a good feeling when just knowing people like listen to your shit and like really support your shit it's, it's a really a good feeling yeah. so yeah when you was growing up did you see yourself being a rapper or that just kind of happened like Mm. I saw I felt I, I I see myself like on the scene, but I didn't I didn't like really see myself as like the rapper rapper like yeah like but shit it is what it is now yeah <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is now no okay. cap how how would you say that you that you got into the streets like how, like how would you say that happened this environment or uh. Just ripping and running the streets with the homies late night, like not coming home, just just doing shit, getting money, just I don't know the streets. I don't know, I, nigga love the streets. It's just like, like how could you not? But the streets cold, dead homies. Yeah. <laughs> they cold, yeah. they cold. On the real, nigga, it's, it's I don't know. Nigga always been in the streets, though, again. Is the, is there a point where you ever feel like you would have to to get out the streets completely or? Uh, yeah, of course, of course, and that's that's the main goal to make it out this shit. That's the main goal. Um, nigga don't want to like be in the streets forever. Like, of course, nigga want the finer things in life. But um, I don't know the streets. They they gonna always have a place in my heart. No cap. 
you know, for like a, a lot of a lot of artists, people would be like, you know, at some point you got to move out your city, you got to leave the city. But for me, for LA, that's kind of a hard thing to tell a LA rapper because LA right. is such a a mecca for music. Like niggas right. move from all over the world to come live in LA, yeah, try to make it out here, right? But like, wh- what should LA rappers do to 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 keep themselves out of harm's way and to to stay out of the, like you feel me? Some of the shit that can happen, you feel me? Because a lot of niggas, you know, a lot of shit do happen to niggas in their own city. Um, I don't know. Just L.A. is just full of politics, really. So it's just it's kind of hard to like bring niggas together in the, on the music on the music shit. Like, like some niggas they fuck with niggas, but like it it just it's kind of hard. Like it's it's not gonna be to a point where it's just like everybody's come together. It's just gonna be like oh, niggas niggas like. Like you see how Atlanta niggas and New York niggas they all fuck with each other. Like it's it's not like that out here in LA. Niggas do not be trying to working together. Like niggas always going against niggas. So it's, yeah. it's never gonna be like that. Well, you feel like it's like that because of the politics, or niggas don't want to see each other win, or like what? What do you think? It's, it a, is? it's a little bit of both. Like it's the politics, niggas be hating, just little shit. Yeah. Nah, for sure. Uh, I I like your your take on that. Um, how would you describe yourself? Uh, man, I'm ambitious, really. Like, I'm all about my money. Um, I really just, really just trying to make it out this shit, really. See all my niggas on. Just keep the homie leg- legacy living. Like, I'm really doing this shit for him, so. Yeah. Where, where do you think that your, your ambition came from or, or how did it develop? Mm. Just seeing my mom, like, like struggle with certain shit, like, growing up as a kid, seeing her struggle. My pops, like, you know, like, he always gave me that mindset to, like, be intelligent and just, like, have, like, a goal and, and, and just, like, strive for it. Just, dude, like, you can always, you know, accomplish what you want to accomplish. So... I don't know. That always been in me as a kid, so yeah. I always like grew up like that. Well, you're in the studio recording. Um, like, what's your process like? You freestyling? You writing? Um, I've been fucking. I've been fucking with the punching in shit lately. Like, it be like I, I tried to write. It, it be working sometime, but I can't just sit there and write like a song unless like I really put my mind to it. But I really be punching in though for the most part. Like I, I hear the beat, like say some shit. Or hear somebody say some shit and it's just it's just like oh I'm punching, grab the headphones and punch in. Yeah. It seemed like the punch in has been like the the, the new thing that people are doing. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. It's more uh more free, more open. How you feel about uh OTM and everything they've been doing? Uh they've been going crazy. They've been going crazy. They um they keeping this shit lit for the homie, most definitely. Yeah. They've been going crazy. I they I guess they was involved in some drama recently with I guess uh, Baby Stone Gorillas. Uh, how how you feel about that situation? And no comment, man. No comment. I just want to say all the groups of LA. I personally would just want to see niggas be silent. You feel me? Like yeah. the comparisons is gonna happen, but like niggas yeah. can't feed into that. Yeah, we know the truth. Um, do you like the spotlight of being an artist? Um, not necessarily because my nigga gone. I ain't, I ain't gonna cap. Like I, I told you, like I, I didn't, I didn't see myself as like the the main rapper. I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I never see myself as that. I, I, I rap because of the, cause I seen the homies go crazy. Yeah. Niggas fuck with my flow, so why, might as well. But I mean, now, I, I potentially, yeah, of course, I see myself as a superstar, but. I never like really like, nah. I feel you. You were just it. It was just awesome. It was fun. It was cool. Yeah. This it, it was always been it always been fun to me. Like yeah. it, it was never like a. It's 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 a, it's a hobby to me really. Yeah. So, but now nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really take this shit as a job. Nah, nah, for sure. Shit, the people, and, and it is funny because um when I reached out to you, hella people kept telling me like. You interviewed these niggas for this T team. Why you ain't interview Bull? I'm like, damn. I'm like, all right. Like, yeah. I gotta tap in. See, so that's, like, see that that be the fans. They be going crazy. They be they be wanting to see more of me. Like, so I really gotta like put out more content for them. So yeah. I gotta keep this shit lit. 
<clears throat> Outside of music, what do you like to do? <laughs> Get money. <laughs> Get money. <laughs> Get money. No cap. Would you say that does money has money brought you happiness? Or what would you say about about money and happiness and the correlation between that? Man, money bring everybody happiness. It definitely bring brings me happiness. I yeah. know that. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, that's just like it's not, it's another feeling. Just getting that bag, knowing you got that sack on you, and the nigga can't tell you shit. You can wake up and do whatever the fuck you want. That's it's just another feeling. Like that is a different feeling for sure. Like for real. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. No, for real. <laughs> to wake up and not have to worry about shit. Yeah, like just do whatever you want. Yeah. Do you believe in aliens or ghosts? Hell yeah. Both? Both. Have you seen anything? Got anything you can share with me? Uh, shit. I ain't had no encounters with no ghosts or no aliens, but, I mean, how can it not? How, how, how is we the only, like, human, like, life forms on in this yeah. universe? It's, it's not adding up. Yeah. It ain't adding up. <laughs> no. Not facts. Um, I guess you'd probably say a bull, but if, if you could be any animal in the world, what would it be and why? Uh, a tiger. Tiger? Yeah. Why the tiger? Um, that's my, um, uh, what, I think that's my, um, my, uh, the Zodiac for the fucking birth year I was born, 98, yeah. so. Yeah. And I fuck with Tigers, they dope, so. Yeah. Nah, tigers are it, around, for it, sure. Yeah. I thought you was gonna say the bull, but that that's dope. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It'd be a tiger. What advice would I you. a tiger. <laughs> what advice would you give to a uh, up-and-coming artist? Um, up-and-coming artist, just. Perfect your craft. Um, whether you're on the independent or you on the label side, like I like I I would say like stay independent before like you try to sign a label because you're not gonna know your worth if you sign to a label. So um, just stay independent until you feel like it's time, or you know, or you can just keep going independently. But for the most part, just stay independent. Would you ever sign a deal? Mm, yeah, I'll, I'll sign a deal. Yeah. I'll sign. If, if, it, if it's the right deal. If it's the right deal. Yeah. Um, can we expect another project this year or? Yeah, of course. Of course. I'm, I'm going a, crazy. Another name for it or? Um, <laughs> Anything you can share? Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Shit, I'm coming soon. Though. Probably bullshit though. Yeah. I, I like that for sure. Um, as far as like, uh, I've been at, who who designed uh, your chain? I've been meaning to figure out who designed your chain. Oh, Rami, Rami, yeah. Rami down down there on Seventh and Hill. He right there. That shit raw. He right sure. there going crazy. Nah, that shit for sure. Um, have you seen the the monkey pox shit? You, have you, how you feel Man, about that? I don't, I don't know how they keep popping up with all these new ass diseases every every two years. That shit that shit is weird to me. Like that's that that's that's, that's, like, that's definitely like the government or something. <laughs> it gotta be. They they doing all type of crazy shit. I'm like, man, I hope this shit don't end up in, in, in California for sure. That shit Another be- shutdown, but shit, hey, shut shut this motherfucker down and we're gonna run it back up. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I was out. I, I wasn't out for the um for the last little, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How you feel about rap beef? Uh, I don't rap beef. I don't. I don't be sneak dissing niggas. Uh, I don't do that shit. That shit. That shit bullshit. That shit. Yeah, it's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Never. Your boy I'm, not involved in no rap beef. Nah, I ain't doing no rap beef. I ain't. I ain't, I ain't doing all that. Do you do you feel that street politics should go hand in hand with the music, or you think it should be split? Um, if they always gonna go hand in hand with the music because you got gang members that's rapping, so of course they, it's, it's always gonna mix. It's, it's like it's always gonna mix at the end of the day. So, uh, street politics, they, it, it shouldn't be involved in music in the music industry, but it is unfortunately so. Do you look at comments? Uh, yeah, I be I be peeping niggas' comments. I be, I be reading them. Do you respond to comments? I need to start responding more back to them. I, um, I be responding every every so often. Like when some when a, a certain comment that catch my eye, and I like like really fuck with the comment. I respond back to them. Yeah. I re, I respond back to my DMs and shit though. Like yeah. you can you can you can hit me in the DM. Uh, I respond. 
As far as people getting you beats, you taking beats from everybody or specific people? Uh, I keep it in the camera. Um, really, right now, shit. Uh, I mean, I, I get beats from everybody, but they don't really be hitting the same as like that. That that sound that we got, like I don't know, just like the homies, like the homies at Narco Wave. They be, they they know a nigga sound. Um, who else? Viper going crazy, legend. They 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 know the they know the flow. They yeah. know what's going on. Yeah. Nah, nah, that is true. Though. I feel like once you get some solid producers, it'd be hard to to fuck with somebody else. Yeah. Like they once they got the sauce down, you yeah, like, hey, they know how to record me. Shout out to Goldfish. He he go crazy. Me and him undefeated. Yeah. We go crazy on the track. So, yeah. What is something that most people don't know about you? Mm, that's a good question. Mm. I'm I'm gonna say shit. Man, shit, they don't know I'm. They, everybody be thinking I'm older than than what I look like. People be thinking I'm like over twenty five. I'm only twenty four. For real? Yeah, I'm only twenty four. So. Yeah. yeah, nigga, for yeah. sure. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> That's what's up. Man. Yeah. Um, is there anything that you needed to get into your vibe in the studio? Uh, good Zamorant. Yeah. Good Zamorant. Um, good lean. You know, lean always cool. Yeah. But. Really, I, I really just be smoking. Like, I don't really be doing all the extra drugs and shit. Like, I pop a perk every so often, but yeah. nah, I don't really be, like, needing shit, specific tools besides, like, weed. That's yeah. it. You got a favorite strain that you that you like right now? Um, I'm fucking with the Chief in packs right now. My yeah. nigga Chief ain't going crazy. Okay. That's what's up. Um. Don't forget that Ralphie Rents, Ralphie Auto. Like, I seen that. Yeah. Y'all got some shit coming yeah. with uh, Backpack Boys. Yeah, they got some. They up there right now. Actually, they um they going crazy. They got a um collab going on right now. That's tight. Yeah, That's super tight for sure. They up there right now. What is a perfect day for you? A perfect day for me. Um, I I'm gonna start. Depending on with um, if I'm with my bitch or not, I'm gonna wake up, roll over. You know, beat the doonies down in the morning. <laughs> you know, early morning. Yeah. Depending if it's like still bright and early, you know, ten before ten. That's always the perfect morning. Yeah. Ten before ten. Yeah. Um, you know, wake up, hit the field, get some chip. Um, now I'm back. Now I'm back. Um, uh, I'm I'm on the road now. You know, of course, nigga got the chip now. Nigga, nigga finna go buy some clothes. What? Get some drink or some lean, weed. Uh. Hit the stool, go crazy. Just that's. I mean, that's that's really every day though with us. Yeah. So, so all my all, all, all my days be good. All my days be good. So it's, I don't really be having bad days. I don't wake up mad. Like I yeah. feel like niggas that wake up mad, like mad at the world. Niggas be like, like what the fuck? Like you a weirdo? Like yeah. how the fuck you wake up mad? Like it's a new day. But that's the perfect day to me though. Can you, know? you say what's the most money you spent in a day? Hmm. Uh, um, I'm gonna say. Um, I'm gonna say seventeen. Can you tell me on what? Um, my chain, my chain, my chain, and my earrings. This is back in seventeen, though. I'm I'm a young nigga, mind yeah. you. I'm a young nigga. This this is back in seventeen. Bust down piece. Uh, yeah, I went to Rami. Bust down, bust down, bull. Free the free the bull chain, man. They got my shit locked up in evidence right now, but what? yeah, they got my shit. But that shit probably gone by now. But yeah, That's crazy. yeah, nigga was young with doing this shit. That's crazy. Seventeen thousand and seventeen, no cap. Nah, that, that's that's hard for sure. A lot, a lot of niggas can't say they did that for sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, if someone never heard a song from you, which song would you tell them to listen to? Mm. I would say Crash in Japan. Crash in Japan or Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup go crazy. I need to shoot a video to that. Not for sure. He been, he was he went crazy last year. Are you into sports at all? Yeah, I fuck with sports. I, I really like sports. What's your teams? Uh I like the Dodgers, Rams, Lakers. Okay. Really LA not, base. Okay. Not not the Warriors. Uh nah. <laughs> and they, they cool. They gonna win it this year. They they for sure gonna win. Not for the Bay. I'm a Warriors yeah, fan. I, I, fuck, I, fuck, I fuck with them. I fuck with them. They gonna win this year. <laughs> nah, I appreciate it for sure. Okay. Um, what would you say inspires you? Mm. 
really, really all my friends, they they my inspiration. I, I get inspired by my friends. I see my friends doing great shit. I get inspired. I like. I get inspired. I don't really get inspired easily, too. That's that's the thing. So you really got to be doing something for me to be like, damn, like, all right, let me. I can do this shit too, like, you know. So. How important is it to like uh, have the right people around you? Um, that's always important, especially like living out here in LA, because you never know what could happen. You don't know. You could like like say for instance. I'm, I'm with gang and Emory. Like I'm with the same niggas. I, I, don't, I don't really frolic around with with new niggas and have new niggas with me. Like, cause it's like, all right, they know they they know my circumstance. They know my situation, and I like I can't just have new niggas infiltrating. Like what I, what, what what we got going on? Just I don't know if you can if you gonna tell them. So at the end of the day, yeah. I know they're not gonna tell me. Yeah. So not straight up. That, I, I agree with you 100% on that. Definitely just can't have whoever to fuck around you. Yeah. What's the biggest lesson you've learned so far since doing music? Um, The biggest lesson I learned is keep going. Keep dropping. Keep dropping. Keep dropping. They, that's all That's all they want to see is content. Got to keep dropping. That's the biggest shit I learned. Yeah. Has it been hard for you to 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 be that consistent? Um, I have to buckle down because, like, I, it's like sometimes I do have my inconsistencies, but for the most part, uh, I'm trying to stay consistent with it now because, like, I I got it going right now. I got to stay high. Like, I can't just fall off and then just be like try to revamp with some. Nah, it don't work like that. Nigga, just not not that great to just be disappearing from the music scene and just like, oh, I just dropped the tape. Go fuck with my tape. Niggas gonna be like, where you where you been at these last couple of months? Like, yeah. it don't work like that. Especially with our work ethic. Like, every we work every day, so it's hard not to not <laughs> not be consistent. Yeah. So I'll be looking at Ralphie. This nigga drop two three two three videos a week. I'm yeah. like, God damn. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> he going crazy. He really got the work ethic. Like, he he got the he got drop, the formula. Yeah. Okay. No <laughs> this nigga dropping videos. Okay. No That's just crazy. Okay. No <laughs> Nah, I, I, I agree with you on that one. That's for sure. Um, do you have a favorite uh, brand you like rocking right now? Uh, streetwear or like designer? Either or. Uh, I really be like mix and match. I really like streetwear. Like I fuck, I fuck with Dunks. Um, um, for the designer, I like catching against um, you know, RTA, Miri, regular shit. Um, but. For the most part, I'm 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 wearing streetwear. I'm wearing on like homie shit. They going crazy on the clothes, so why not? Yeah, that's one thing I love about y'all. That y'all big on supporting y'all own and supporting each other's brands, which I think is dope. Because a lot of niggas they don't do that. They yeah. be niggas. I feel like a lot of people be more inclined to wear some shit from a nigga they don't know than they exactly. own shit. Niggas don't make no sense. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> that shit makes no sense. <laughs> Um, do you have any any goals for the rest of the year? Um, yeah, I'm a uh, my goal this year. I'm trying to drop at least fifty videos on YouTube, that's if right. not if not more. But um, that's that's one of my goals for the end of this year. Um, I really want to go crazy. I like I I want to hit. So I'm gonna just keep working until I make that that that, that hit that go crazy. You know, yeah. had the whole city booming. But for the most part, fifty videos. New content. Yeah. Shit, just got to keep working, keep dropping. Um, is there anything you want to address before you get out of here? Um, Ganging in, man. Y'all know the truth, man. Y'all know what's going on. Stinks for the win, man. It ain't really, that's really nothing else to say, really. Yeah. Shit. I, I'm happy that you pulled up. We got a dope interview on the way. way on a dope interview on the way. We got Young Bull in the studio. Gang Stay team in the building. I appreciate you for pulling up. A whole lot of it, man. Good looking. <laughs>